Hi, I'm going to do an unboxing of the build kit that you can get to help complete your project. But before we do that, we're going to have a word from the spokesperson for our sponsor, which is matter-replicator.com. And this spokesperson is in no way me wearing a mask. Matter-replicator.com provides deluxe parts kits to complete your project. We also have links to instructional videos. I may be no Mark Hamill, but I am not a bad actor. All right, thank you, Billy Dahl, spokesperson for our sponsor, MatterReplicator.com. So when you get your build kit, it has many parts. One reason why this is an upgraded and deluxe build kit is that it comes with a 2.8 inch display instead of the 2.4 inch that is normally used. The 2.8 inch display is actually the same pixel resolution as the 2.4 inch, so the software will run on it just fine. You do have to load the HMI file into the Nexteon editor, change the device to say 2.8 inch discovery display, and then resave the TFT file. It's very easy and only takes a few minutes. One of the things that I provide for the kit is a 3D printed display housing and I include high powered magnets so this can stick on the front of the machine and make it look very professional and more complete than having a small screen on the top. As you can see from this B-roll video that I shot earlier, the magnets hold on quite securely and you do not have to drill a hole to route the wires because they go in through the steam wand cutout that is already on the machine. It's very easy to reposition this display housing if you would like it in a slightly more even or level location. You get an ungrounded thermocouple. It's M4 and it screws right into the boiler. This is a 1.2 MPA pressure sensor. You get some official Gaja brand silicone hose an STM32 black pill, and there's many extras that are nice to have. For example, you get about 12 inches of 2.5 millimeter heat shrink tubing. You get a bunch of uh, cable ties that you could use for wire management, but you have some 18 gauge wire in three different colors. You have 22 gauge wire in five different colors. You have the proper T-fitting. Now this one is for the Classic Pro. And in fact, that orange tubing was also for the Classic Pro, but if you specify the Classic model, you will get different parts that that needs. You get some of these terminal strips that will allow you to plug in the STM32 and change it if necessary, so you don't have to solder it to the printed circuit board. It's a four pin JST connector. You can cut the end off it and use it as you need to. You have a three pin, two more three pins. Here we have the proper quarter inch BSP um, socket that the pressure sensor screws into. It's a perfect fit. Now this is arguably not necessary, but I prefer to use Loctite 55. And if you wrap this around the threads, you can make an even more robust seal. So normally the way that these threads seal is on this silicone O-ring. So you definitely wanna use that and that should be enough. But I provide this for an even more robust seal. Um, 
it's like $16 for a pack of this, so it's kind of a big deal to buy it on your own, but I include it. You get an ST link. A 40DA SSR. You have piggyback terminals. These make it easier to add two connections to the same connection on the machine. And then you have an assortment of male and female terminals. I actually give extras. So uh, sometimes when you crimp these, you make a mistake and you have to throw it away. And I wouldn't want anyone to be stuck without having more. So we do include a bunch of extras. Now, the PCB is not included, but you can get that from us. And also, we have a PCB housing available. The way this works is it slides in. It's kind of a snug fit, so it won't just fall out. And this comes with magnets, so you'd, you'd stick the magnets on the back, and then this would go into the machine. And then this cover snaps on. It all kind of locks together. So <clears throat> it looks like this. There's good access to the ports on this side, the ports on this side. You have the high voltage terminals. This stays out for good cooling. You can still uh, push the buttons on the STM32, and you can still access the programming ports. So I would actually recommend that you keep a uh, keep the wires connected to the programming ports and mount the STM32 on the back of the machine so you could reprogram it as needed. In any case, I hope that that helps, and please visit the website and see if you're interested in any of it. Thank you.